Welcome to the Swift Playgrounds tutorial. So when you're in the app, uh, there are some different programs available. Uh, the two that we work on here are the Get Started With Code and the Learn to Code One program. And both of these programs, uh, you'll notice have some similarities, such as in commands, we have an intro, the issuing commands, toggling a switch, finding and fixing bugs. And if I go into the Learn to Code One program, uh, I do see those exact same uh, sections in the, the commands chapter as well. So I'm going to go through issuing commands. This would be the same as issuing commands on the other program as well. And once it loads here, notice the directions tell us what to do. It says your character byte loves to collect gems but can't do it alone. In the first puzzle, you'll need to write swift commands to move byte across the puzzle world to collect a gem. So if I look here, um, my character here is trying to get to that red ruby gem at the end of the, of the uh, line here on the puzzle. And uh, first thing it tells me, step one on the left-hand side, it says look for the gem in the puzzle world. Okay, we got it. Number two, enter the correct combination of the move forward and collect gem commands. So each tile represents you know, one move, right? So if I were to move forward just one time, I'm going to tap to enter my code and press move forward. And if I press the play button at the right side here to run my code, you'll see it's going to do exactly that. It's going to move forward one time. And so that went just one tile. And if I move forward again, that is going to take me up to the set of, uh, up the flight of stairs, up to the next tile. So two move forwards, I'm getting closer to the gem. I'm definitely going to need one more move forward and that will take me to the gem. And then if I read my directions, it says, enter the correct combination of the move forward and collect gem command. So now that I got to the gem, whenever we get to a gem on Swift, our goal is to collect it. And you see down at the bottom, that's my only other option is collect gem. And so I'm going to run my code. And we can see we get to the gem and collect it. And so we are good.